Hello? Hi, this is Hank. Am I audible? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, and Happy New Year. I think it's still appropriate to say this. Uh, at least you can end the year. <clears throat> Are you there, Johnny? I know. Okay, we seem to all be here. Hi, Michael. Hi. So if it's working right, then I'm projecting a GitHub page. <clears throat> yep. Uh, this seems to be again went to the dave wheeler went to the wrong place dave we look check the webex link which is in the chat oh, okay. just putting it again there Are you relaying Dave via your mic, Michael? Are you getting Are you getting a back talk from Dave Wheeler? Yeah, through the mic? Yes. yeah. <laughs> that's really weird. I don't know why my headphones are leaky like that. That you know, over the ear headphones, you'd think that that would be complete isolation, but <clears throat> apparently not. Okay. Um, Uh, I wonder, uh, if, see, I should probably just make this wider. No. Um, so I, we should step through the pull requests that several have made and um, I don't see anything wrong with Dave's first one here. Does anyone see anything wrong with this editorial change?
No, we were contradicting ourselves by uh, highlighting that we will not do it, and then we did it very prominently. I think that's an appropriate change. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, what do we do? We push a button somewhere. Um, I can push the button if you want me to. All right. Yep. That's the one. Okay. Still don't know whether I purple is really a good choice to say that it's merged. Um. <clears throat> Topological model text from Thaler and Birkhoff docs. 22 days ago seems so long ago. Any thoughts or comments on this? Uh, I'm just trying to just hit low, low hanging fruit here. Yeah, I see Ned already approved this. Hank has no uh, objections with it. I was, I was uh, assigned to be a, a reviewer, but I'm in office since yesterday, so um, uh, there was not much time for me to, uh, to uh, uh, read all of it. Uh, I've, I see no, no fault in it. I think it's a little bit lengthy, but I think it's okay. Um, we were uh, so at some point. It was highlighted uh, that we really want a short architecture document. I think that is a goal to aspire to, but it is sometimes unrealistic to have everything in two sentences. So I'm fine with elaborating on this. So I need to look. I want to hit. I want to hit go, and I want to then see how. Where, where does this fit into the document? Pretty early, I guess. So is there? Is I'll hit. Commit here, merge. Yeah, since we'd uh, previously reviewed the table of contents, right? This is fleshing out the top line the models section that had to uh, include message flows and architectural models for the two documents. I think we'd already uh, agreed on where it goes in the document, and this is yeah. just taking the two uh, sections and merging the text from the two documents. Yeah. Add security considerations. We had some conversation here last time. Yeah, it might be not the final. Sorry, I'm talking to mute. No, uh, it might not be the final. Um... Uh, a block of text, but it is most certainly uh, better than when we were standing before. So I'm, I'm absolutely with this one. But I, I'm assuming that while we go through the text and address other pull requests, we might uh, add to the considerations. Yeah, completely agree. Yeah, I, th I thought that there was a question around what layer was the security considerations seem to be focused on on uh, you know transport layer. Use uh, the, the structure of the architecture addresses things at different layers, and so it wasn't clear to me if the security considerations was really out of place. But if we had a section, we we could so for each section that talks about a particular layer, we can address security considerations there. We don't have a section for um, transport layer security, as far as I. Uh, can tell, and so it seems like that becomes the place to put those kinds of concerns. Yeah, well, we was we, saying we, we probably will have a uh, somewhat fleshed out section about the ways how to how roles interact with each other, and um, I think that was at least requested. It might become a thing. Then we could outsource some of this into the uh, appropriate sections. Uh, for the moment, I think uh, using it as a bucket for everything uh, viable on any layer is fine with me. And we can uh, um, cut out pieces if uh, appropriate uh, body uh, sections appear. I assume. So I'm hearing, not hearing support for this. I'm not hearing objections or how to fix it. 
Oh no, this is this is. I, I think, yeah, it sounds like people are saying go ahead and merge, and there may be changes later, and that's fine. And we're all saying, yep, we agree that there may be changes later, but let's go ahead and merge this and make changes as we need to. I don't, I don't think the existing text is wrong. Yeah, only that it's very layer specific. It's talking about transport security and it's assuming that it exists. Of course, we also exist some other properties of the roles where they reside on the entities they reside on. Uh, that's, of course, always also true. It's lacking that still, but maybe we have a section for that. So maybe it doesn't really have to go into the security consideration. That's my, my point here. Um, maybe this is the, this is the easiest thing to write into the, um, uh, security consideration section. So, and it, it should not be lost and therefore including it for now is fine from my point of view and yeah and I also uh, acknowledge net that uh, it, it is not uh, complete <laughs> and maybe some text of that is about security will not go into a section 11 here now uh, because it will have its own section yeah the whole document in some sense is about security right <laughs> as with every uh, security area document yes <laughs> yep Looking at the HTML formatted version, actually, it looks really nice. We have just a little bit of text in the introduction, more text to be inserted here, reference use cases. Okay, let's continue on. So there were some more uh, pull requests. So one from William, two from William. Opposite remote attestation data flow. Yeah, I think also Dave. Oh, sorry, maybe so. Can uh, no, uh, you you can you can you can. Okay, sorry. Yeah, because I uh, I, I reviewed this without uh, reviewing it because I'm also a little bit uh, um, I was a quick reviewer, so I started from the top, which is a stupid idea, <laughs> effectively because it was the youngest one. Um, so I I think it makes the diagram more complicated, which is uh, unfortunately the truth. It is more complicated. Um, the the initial question is: uh, Are we going? Uh, do, do, are, are we confronting the reader with a um, composite device as the attester to start with? I think it uh, puts a lot of um, emphasis on the att attester, which is fine because the big box is not bigger actually, and it also uh, resonates with the um, uh, each uh, uh, sub claim set thingy nesting, and uh, this is the nesting they are basically talking about in their draft. So I think that aligns with the other adopted uh, document. And Dave seems to be, as a Dave Thaler in this case, seems also be okay with it because you reviewed it, I think, and very short time. Uh, notice. I was skimming it five minutes before the call, and so I've not actually reviewed the uh, technical points in there. I quickly uh -huh. skimmed it just to see if it was formatted correctly and so on. Um, it does to your point before about the topological models looking a bit lengthy. This one does look a bit lengthy, and I wonder if we do this, are then we going to also have sections about, um, uh, you know, equivalent link sections about uh, chained claims and sorry, not chained claims. I mean, um, what's the term? Attesting versus attested environments that are chained, and so you get this uh, mm -hmm. chain of claim sets and so on. Because uh, here there's yes. many different types of relationships that could be done, right? And we want a bunch of sections about each of the relationships in there. I don't have a strong opinion either way. I'm just saying that's the question that I have to think about. Uh, because if we put this in, I'm expecting we will have equivalent link sections about several other topics. And I would agree with that. Sorry for interjecting and <laughs> squeezing myself in again. Uh, um, yes, uh, what you are calling chained uh, attestation sometimes, is, I think Ned calls it layered attestation. Yeah, um, uh, yeah exactly. So, um, so and, and, and as we want that, I think, and I, I think there's no objection to delve into the topic of uh, layered attestation in this document. And, and this helps to do that. Um, still, I think it's it's a little bit... Well, well, this is now a diagram, you know, there's, there's a lot of to read here. That's, don't just skim over it and get the picture. You really have to read it now. And um, so that's my only concern, but maybe that's not bad. Maybe it's good that people have to think twice before reading along and see all the things here and see the uh, um, 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 the big box. The only thing here is the composite network that I'm looking right now at. 
Um, I'm I'm not sure that 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 is always a network that is um, the, um, the the box. That, that's that's a technical thing, I think. But, but I'm really it, understanding the difference between a composite device and a composite network. They look very similar, but uh, um, I guess it's a difference in how they're attached. Uh, for the composite device, uh, you know the uh, many many messages between the. Uh, for the picture, the leader unit and the subordinate unit, uh, they are some in uh, inner messages. They, uh, for uh, like, uh, you know, um, um, uh, it's not through the internet, uh, but for the composite uh, networks, I I want to mean that um, some our network composed of some uh, several devices and uh, which only one device can be a gateway to communicate with the verifier and others uh, just uh, cannot communicate with the verifier. And uh, uh, the, the gateway device can be the uh, proxy or some kind of uh, verifier to do the remote attestation. Yeah, I'm having a hard time playing spot the differences between the two diagrams. I think that the interconnect just is different. And in one case, so, so semantically, uh, I think these two diagrams say, actually, it works the same way. You only have different ways of communicating with each other. The so interconnect in the network uh, diagram probably is IP. And the other one is just internal buses or yeah, well, interconnects. If yeah, the yeah. shape of the diagram is identical and the only difference is a label or two, then I'm wondering if we could... Uh, Combine them into one document and deal with the differences in text. Sorry, one one one, okay. Okay. one text file here. Yeah. One diagram. Okay. The, uh, this is my question the... because uh, I'm looking at the two and forcing the reader to go back and forth to play to play spot the differences is uh, tedious. Yeah, I think it's 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 fundamentally about the nature of this arrow, right? Which arrow? On the screen, yeah keeps moving around but yeah sorry yeah <clears throat> so the we have the terminology a tester and a testee or a testing environment and a tested environment mm -hmm. a synonym, synonym with the thing called leader and subordinate that was one of my questions as well thank you ned What's the difference between leader unit versus subordinate unit versus a testing environment versus a tested environment? Are they synonymous or not? I don't think so. I think that each each unit has its is is in a is okay. in, um uh, for, for uh, for it's their environment. It looks like a subordinate unit is in a testing environment and a leader unit is in a, sorry other way around. The subordinate unit is in a <clears> testing <throat> environment, but I can't tell, and I don't know that the text answers the question. I don't think oh, yeah. that the leader attests for the uh, acts as a verifier for the subordinate units, if that's what you're asking. Then what's that's the weird. verifier component just to the left of that arrow? So that, oh, you're right. I don't know, actually. No. It is confusing. Yeah. Uh, I, I can explain a little. Uh, uh, let's just uh, look at the leader unit. Uh, if it is uh, our an attester, like the previous overview uh, the flow, uh, it contains the uh, attestation functionality, and so it has a attestating, attesting uh, environment and uh, attested environment. And uh, for uh, uh, in this kind of devices, um, uh, all of the leader unit and the subordinate unit, uh, uh, for example, they contains our TPM uh, in each unit and uh, uh, they can do the measured boot and uh, after they boot it, uh, uh, they will need to do the remote attestation. So uh, th I think the, uh, the verifier component isn't defined, isn't uh, um, included in the terminology of attesting envir uh, environment and uh, attested environment. A testing environment and a tested environment are both uh, for uh, its, uh, its own attestation. 
it count verifier to do uh, it count acts as a verifier to uh, verify the other units but the other units also has a uh, attested and attesting environment to um, act as our uh, you know the measure boot and then the uh, att uh, remote attestation <clears throat> so uh, one, one of the uh, b b uh, virtues of the role model is it allows you to abstract away the a bunch of a bunch of sort of deployment specific or implements implementation specific detail and talk about the roles interactions it seems as though that this is among other things a use case describing what might be called a nested or layered station <clears throat> uh, and there's an example of of some of some hybrid um, models as well that have multiple verifiers and multiple uh, testers and so forth, or at least multiple relying parties. Uh, it isn't clear in this diagram, me at least, if 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 this is trying to describe uh, a layered or nested attestation model, or if it's trying to point at the, the observation that that an endpoint. A device could be decomposed into uh, subordinate uh, components, and and uh, you know, go go down that direction. It's combine the two, which makes it hard to read. Yeah, I, um, yeah. For, um, you you know, I uh, before I first want to write this section in the. Uh, 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 in the uh, attested in, attesting and attested environment of the, the section, but uh, yeah, I also um, when I write write in the right uh, when I wrote this, I also uh, thinking about the uh, attester component, verify component with uh, versus the attested environment and attesting environment. I can. Um, for now, I can't explain very well, but I can think about more and trying to uh, be more um, uh, analyzes. There was some uh, a thread on the email list with some examples that involved uh, myself, Monty Wiseman, and Lawrence Lundblade, and maybe a few others that tried to walk through uh, an example based on a secure boot use case. That might be useful uh, thread to read up on. It basically showed how, uh, in a secure boot scenario, where the where the verification happens as part of the boot, that you could you could essentially do an attestation, do a measurement, an attestation, a verification, and then transition to the next layer. So the role the roles model is still effective in describing uh, um, you know these more complex uh, kinds of scenarios. It is, but you wouldn't call that remote attestation, right? Uh, no, you you wouldn't. It, it might be. It might be. I I I do think that the that there's interesting stuff in the leader and subordinate, but I'm worried about including it in this diagram. Because some of the attestation for remotes might be one device that depends on another, which again goes back and depends on the assessment of an external verifier. So I, I kind of like what Ned was saying in that by separating the idea of leader and subordinate out of this to an external role, you get more flexibility in the kind of models that you would want to or be able to support. So I see where you're going, and I like the functional desire to be able to talk about nested uh, remote attestation. However, I'm worried about codifying this in this diagram because it might limit some types of deployments. Is this changing? Well, the, the, di the diagram, we don't, diagram. If, if the diagram is exemplar rather than restrictive, then I don't think it would, you know, it says here is a way to do nested attestation. Um, an example, then I don't think it would limit 
things. Is this um, diagram replacing the current roles diagram? That has no, it's an addition, I believe. So, so the the top half seems like it's redundant and not not useful in describing the concept of nested attestation. And and the it's really it's not even talking about um, nested remote attestation, which is which is maybe something that belongs in that other the other section that talks about passport and some hybrid models that seems to be focusing on local attestation where there's a composite device and some way to uh, decompose that device and some sort of attestation and verification along the way that, that's that's an interesting topic and you know if it makes sense to put it in the document it should be its own section and have its own diagram uh, I think we just need to think about what's what's the right way to present that idea. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a making, four, making sense to me. It's a four point one under architecture, right now. That's the proposal. Yeah, I think that that's. Is there something else in that section underneath four? Oh, we just had four architecture. We had the diagram. That's all. Where did the the passport model end up? I um, have to merge it to say for sure. You see here under this one. It's mm -hmm. under topo section five topological models. It's the next sec major section. <clears throat> and is there a section on on components? Maybe unfold the table of comments, the contents. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, then, then it's easier to see where everything is. Sorry. Can you not? Are you not seeing the HTML projected right now? I'm yes, sorry. but I cannot see four point one, and I should be able to see four point one, and that's weird. Oh no! Because this is this version. This is the, sorry. Oh, there are two tabs. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't see well, that. There's two, two. I don't know what I did here. Uh, Those are two tabs. What you can do is you can uh, rebase the one that we're reviewing, which will then combine. So I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Ah, uh, they're parallel. Yeah. Uh, so, so let me just do that. You rebase. Yeah. There we go. And good. So does that makes that work for you. <clears throat> Yes, thank you. Now I get it. And there they are. <laughs> Chris Stanza. So I think that the composite device picture is... Uh, so, so first of all, I agree with Dave that uh, find the differences between the two pictures is hard. Uh, diagrams is hard. Um, and it might, might actually become tedious to see the difference because they're so similar if you look at them, um, let's just skim them. Um, I also think that the composite device scenario is very easier to understand than the composite network scenario based on Eric's input now, because um, I think there's some merit to the fact that uh, sometimes you are a leader in some scenarios and sometimes you're not. It's like the layer attestation, the roles are uh, exchanged depending on uh, time of sequence, for example, but if you're going through a process here or on uh, hierarchy. On whatever it can. If sometimes you're a leader, sometimes you're subordinate, maybe you're both. And this cannot be represented in this kind of diagram. So maybe we need a different one for the composite network. I am, and we are fine with the composite device one. I'm not 100% sure, but I think the composite network one is more, way more complicated and it does not show it because so similar to the uh, composite device one. Did was there a section that explained the attested and attesting environments? I don't know six. if it's merged in yet, but six. yeah, that's right. It is six. I don't know if it, is the text in six already. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, so you're asking for this one? No. no. So I've merged. I've merged all of the. the, the uh, yeah, the the text is probably in section. Yeah, I've merged all of the your comments already. 
Section six is the place to talk about com composite. And that is a good point. But I, certainly, we should talk about the relationship between them because that's the, one of the open questions I have is I don't understand whether uh, leader and subordinate are the same or different from two types of environments. And I think there needs to be text that explains the relationship between them if you're using both terms. Either say that they're different and how they're different or say that they're the same or something. I don't know what the answer is, but we need to have a treatment of it. Uh, so a, te a tested and a testing asserts that the endpoint has at least two, has at least one division within within it, which is the thing that can attest and the thing that can is the target attestation. I guess we I guess we're missing a term in in TCG. They use the term measure measurement. To kind of talk about the relationship between the the attest the attesting environment and the attested environment, it's attestation is is proving to a verifier an interaction between an attester and a verifier. But there is there is uh, something that happens between the attesting environment and the attested environment that I don't know that we have terminology for yet. And it's wrong to use the word attest, uh, but it's you know something like you know inspects, measures, you know observes something of that nature. <clears throat> but it does it does communicate the notion that there's a way to to partition the the endpoint device into these two environments, and then the it seems like this topic is saying that it could be partitioned into multiple components as well um, and that, that, uh, that's actually quite helpful in talking about uh, TEEP use cases because TEEP and TEEP endpoints are can be decomposed into multiple components as well. Did I get this this comment right Ned here? There's between the no no no, oh, it's between the attesting environment and attested environment. I think I agree with Ned's summary. And I have no objection if we wanted to use the term measure in section six. I think that would be fine. And by the way, this is my forget about it. Thank you. Um, but then the question is, do, does that section, does it also make sense in that section to talk about um, um, multi, you know, uh, 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 components or subcomponents or uh, endpoint decomposition into components? And that would that would put you into a use case, maybe on the level of complexity that this diagram is trying to address. Which is to say that there could be multiple components and within those and subcomponents and within those components and subcomponents there could be attesting environments and attested environments, <clears throat> or not. What they could also be there. And uh, that that and and I think that gets at the heart of of kind of the real world kinds of. Um, implementations of uh, where you have multiple attesting environments or you have a single attesting environment that can measure multiple uh, attested environments and that would be a TPM. Um, it may or may not be a TPM. That's that, one. An example of that could be a TPM. Another example could be an SGX. Dot 
capture. Okay, so uh, I'm submitting this issue. And over here. Um, the case of where the say multiple attesting environments would be a, di a dice thing. Uh, if there uh, are e even in dice, it can be an example of a single attesting environment and multiple attested all the way up, right? You can have a tree. So, so such as when there's a TPM or an SGX, the same thing would apply to dice as an example. Multiple attesting environments or attested environments. I'm just saying the part that you put in up above, Michael, yeah. where you said such as where there is a TPM or an SGX. I'm saying DICE would be another example in that same list or could be. Right. Okay, well, I was just going to put that as a number comment, but I can put it here. I'm just saying that that uh, DICE can also be an example where there's multiple attesting environments as well. The TPM and an SGX wouldn't. Take it back. At least the TPM wouldn't. Oh, sorry, I was interrupted. Um, you said dice is also some other. There's a case if you take that last sentence and change the word single to multiple, then in the exam example list you would include dice. Uh, I'm not saying edited, you saying copy. Yeah. There may be multiple by here by yeah. multiple attesting environments. What is dice? Dice would be an example, and I'm not certain yet if SGX is also an example. I'd have to think about it. What is dice? What is it? Uh, device is identity the TCG, engine. Yeah. Dice is the TCG uh, standard for generating layered uh, claim sets. So this is saying again. Sorry, am I audible now? Right. Yeah. Okay. This is just the standard for when you have a chain of things where you have an attested and an testing environment, and there could be multiple layers, and there could be a tree of them that chain to the same uh, attesting environment. And Ned is saying it might be possible to have multiple attesting environments, in which case you might have multiple trees of or chains of stuff. So, so this is saying this comment is a little bit late. I'm very sorry. Um, I think what is important to highlight here is even if these two things that are testing and tested environment are differentiated, they are not necessarily isolated. They are not. They are not. They are not, not a. Uh, um, they can be collapsed. And I think I'm, I'm taking on uh, Lawrence's head here right now, because uh, he wants to have the option to have the attested environment, the attesting environment, to be the same environment. Um, Problem. That means yet. Uh, it means that the uh, uh, measuring system is in the measured system. Uh, it's in the same context. Okay, so it's less and he wants to, wants to it can yes. lie. Okay, got it. Yeah, it, yeah actually, actually, actually it's, it's it's like a, a zero level of assurance. Uh, and uh, I, I heard him talking about it and uh, advocating that. And although I think it is not the best idea to do that, literally, uh, I don't want to omit him, uh, omit him here because I think neither, neither Giri nor Hickman are here. And for fairness, uh, I have to bring that up. <laughs> I'm not a big advocate. I have no objection to that. And the part where that is uh, perhaps... Um, not insecure would be cases where that is in immutable code like hardware or ROM. Yeah. Hmm, good so, point. so um um like the 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 uh root of a dice chain would typically be in ROM or hardware and those would be collapsed at the root, right? You gotta start somewhere. Uh, I think the the case there is that the manufacturers issues like a manufacturer certificate about that environment, so it's not true. Uh, that's only true for certain cases, like SGX. It's not necessarily always true. <clears throat> In some uh, ARM trust zone environments, you do not have to have a manufacturer's environment. It becomes more um, uh, 
there's other operational issues for how you establish trust in it that are solvable, but you don't have to have a manufacturer start. That's just a common way to scale. Um, that's a, that's an example. <clears throat> Issuing the manufacturer certificate is an example of operational process that <clears throat> keeps the attested environment different from the attesting environment. Yes, it I is, agree with the way you phrased that. Yeah. It is uh, <clears throat> observing that. The, write that down because I didn't really catch it. Um, I, uh, I can say it's exactly the same way as Ned. A, a, issuing a, a manufacturer certificate is a, uh, I can't remember what, what did, oh, words were. It's an operational way to uh, keep the testing environment separate from the attested environment, something along those lines. I don't know if that's how you were going to. So I want to step back a second and you, you mentioned that, you know, man, I think manufacturing in the trust zone environment is a little more, we'll call it vague, I guess, or um, flexible than in other environments. So what do you mean by manufacturer here? Um, the SOC vendor, uh, certainly I don't think it's the end owner is, 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 is making these proofs. Uh, or assertions. I think so we're just saying we have to define manufacturer. I think here. We're at the stage. We're 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 not at that point yet, but we're saying that a manufacturing environment can be an attesting environment, uh, where that clarity ha hasn't until now been elucidated. Yep. Um, okay, so. As long as we understand that's future work, that's fine. Yeah. So I don't think that we have the term a testing environment. Do we? Do we? Do we? I don't think we put that back in. It should be in section six. Well, I thought we put it in. Okay. Well, it's not in the. Look. Look in section six. What is? What's let me it? look in the the most merged version. So it's not in the terminology. It should be in section six. And section six. Testing environment and a tested environment. Okay. Does that belong back in the terminology? No preference. Uh, I think this is where I expect there to be more text in here, as you can see with the little placeholder there. Can we find a better name? I don't think anyone is happy with those names. They are too alliterative. Yeah. I think I think, I think, correct. People, <laughs> I think even people would be happy if, you know, they were named with colors or leader versus subordinate or a leader subordinate is actually really good if that doesn't conflict with what the that's what I'm saying. So I don't know whether those are synonyms or not. Yeah, so I don't know it, it, whether it may or may not work. Just, with... The word target was suggested at one point. Mm. Um, I think that environment. somebody else's terminology, and I think it has the same issue, but you could say uh, measuring and measured, but I think that has the same issue as a testing and a tested. Yeah, I, I, unfortunately. <laughs> yes. It's synonymous, right? Because we said we were going to add the term measure in the issue that Michael just filed into section six or wherever this moves to. Um, and so I think it is synonymous that um, attested and attesting would be measured and measuring, or sorry, measured and yeah. And is that the same ugliness? Surveyor. <laughs> Surveilled. No, measure, measuring and surveying. A measured environment, and then you survey the environment. The attesting environment is the surveyor. And the measured, um, or you can solve the problem. The, the, the attested and attesting um, is only a problem because they're so similar, right? You can still keep one of those. So that you could say the measuring environment and the and the uh, attested environment, or something like that, and you just pick one of each. Yeah, Monty, do you have an opinion on this? Monty's gone. 
Oh, I'm gone. Am I audible again? Uh, sorry. Oh, I, 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 I'm sorry. sorry. Monty tried to speak. I'm sorry. Say that again. Yeah, I'm sorry. Say it again. Uh, so we have the, uh, so the data that I just said, we have the problem with the attested and the attesting being phonetically so similar. And we have the, with everything, monitor, monitoring, whatever you use, it's, it's, it's not working. So maybe use different terms. So the uh, suggestion was, it's the measuring environment and the attested environment. Yeah, I don't know if we've ever used the term measuring environment. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen the term measuring. Well, you probably haven't seen the term surveyor either, so that's not really the question we're asking. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's fairly new. And I, I have something when I heard it this, uh, this morning, and I'm kind of scratching my head a little bit. <laughs> so, so one advantage of a new term is that 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 there's nothing attached to it. Yeah. yeah the one issue I have with surveyor is that uh, it implies they're actively going out, which might not be the case. Yeah, the, the sur survey is. Yeah, I I agree with that. I, I have kind of a problem with survey because it seems more proactive than it is at the station. We think of as a reactive statement. Yes, you can go out and survey and ask the question, but it kind of speaks to but we're a more not active role, which are we're not defining, we're not trying to redefine attestation. We're trying to define the action that is taken to observe, survey, measure inspect the environment that is to be attested. I'm sorry, you kind of broke off to me. Could you restate that? We're saying we're trying to describe the action that takes place to observe, measure, uh, inspect the environment that is the, that is going to be the attested environment. Um, I, I'm a little parsing that myself. Thing, yeah. Right? yeah. An action. Sorry, I, I have trouble parsing that, what you just said myself. Is do you refer to something that's on board or something that is remote at this point? It's on board within the endpoint. Yeah. Okay. So it's the thing that makes does the measurements. It's not the thing that determines whether they're the right measurements. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So we've called that the attesting environment because it creates measurements of the attested environment. And we'd like to replace that term attesting environment with something else. So the comment, I, I, I don't think of surveying as necessarily being as active as you think. Um, in the definitions, it says, you know, the general surveys the battlefield, which doesn't mean he necessarily goes out and looks at it. He could look through his telescope. Um, just looking for synonyms here. I'm I'm okay with introducing a new term that doesn't have baggage. Lineman is one of them. That's not really workable. A testing and yeah, evaluation. I'm a, I'm a little, yeah. Actuary. <laughs> one of these days I'll tell you a story of when I looked through a thesaurus and came up with a unfortunate term for a standard over some beer someday so the that was testing and evaluated the, the reason that i had thrown out um or thrown in the measuring environment is because we just filed an issue to introduce the term measure right and so do we want to introduce one term or find a way sorry introduce two terms or find a way to combine them into only one term being introduced yeah, i'm okay with that too I, I... you could either go with measured environment or you could go to the tested environment and flip, flip the right. uh, uh, attesting or measuring however you want it, but that's definitely yeah. what so, I got to so tell you, you this is your biggest issue. Like, this is wonderful working fodder 